many stem cell transplants does Boston Medical, for example, do over the course of a year or a week, however you wish to answer that? So, you know, the Boston Medical Center, you know, the program has been in existence since 1994, and we have done about 40 to 45 stem cell transplants per year on an average. Um, in 1997, which was the highest number of stem cell transplants, which was 56 uh, patients we had done. And majority of these stem cell transplants are done for the disease AL amyloidosis. 80% uh, of these stem cell transplants are for AL amyloidosis, and 20% are for other diseases like lymphoma, multiple myeloma, Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, things like that. Tell us a little bit about your medical team, those that work with you on this tremendous undertaking. There are many, many individuals who are dedicated and involved in taking a patient through stem cell transplant. The multidisciplinary evaluation that occurs in the initial phases of treatment involve a, an internist who is dedicated to amyloidosis center, a, a hematologist, which involves myself, Dr. Selvin, Dr. Sloan. Um, pulmonologist, uh, cardiologist, nephrologist, which is a renal specialist, and a neurologist. Then the patient undergoes evaluation by a nurse practitioner who works with the, uh, with the stem cell transplant program who's on my team. Once the patient is deemed eligible for stem cell transplant and once they return for stem cell transplant, many, many individuals who are, you know, uh, helping us getting a patient through stem cell transplant. And that starts from medical assistant, aura, uh, to many, many nurses who work in the Solomon Center for uh, Cancer and uh, Hematology and Blood Disorders, um, a nutritionist, a nurse practitioner, Dina, who works with the transplant program, clinical research nurses uh, from the clinical trials office, uh, as well as um, uh, fellows who are in training and some of our other colleagues. All the multidisciplinary uh, team members are available during stem cell transplant for any complications that occur during this process. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.